Hello and welcome. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome if you are new. I'm Carly. This is my channel, Sunshiny Soul and Tarot. Today's messages are for Taurus. Any strong placement of Taurus in your chart for the uh, dates of March 16th through the 31st, 2024. We are in eclipse season. We have the first eclipse happening at the full moon in Libra on the 25th. So, uh, lots of energy in regards to that. Also, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy, um, also known as Reiki, and it does not matter where you live or how far apart we are. Um, I work with clients globally and have been since early 2017. There is a 15% discount linked below for you. All right, Taurus, let's get you an overall energy. Okay, we'll take that one. Beautiful, Taurus. You've got the elephant energy. Learn from the past. What a beautiful energy uh, for the second half of March for you as we are in eclipse season because eclipses oftentimes help us to release out what we no longer need, what is not in alignment for our lives and um, I'm seeing that some of the shifts and changes, Taurus, that are going to be happening for you, like you've experienced them before in a different way, but who you are now is different than who you were previously. So you are going to be experiencing um, these shifts in a different way than the old you would have. And you've learned from your past. You have grown from your past and from the things that you have been through. So if anything, I feel that this elephant uh, spirit is really validating you in the growth that you have had. You have done the work, you've gotten the lessons and you've learned from the past and now you're being given the opportunity to do things differently, to uh, respond in a different way and to handle things in a different way than maybe you would have and you're learning from the past and you're acknowledging like the way that the old you would have handled something. So I think that's a really beautiful overall energy for you. Let's get the other cards out here. I'm going to pull six cards for you. Three more, please. I'm also hearing you are much wiser uh, now than in the past as well. And that energy of the elephant, the elephants just have a very wise, majestic energy to them naturally. So that's also kind of coming through for you. Beautiful. You've got three major arcana cards. Three of the six cards are major arcana cards, Taurus. So a lot of growth, a lot of transformation. And look at what we are starting with, the Chariot, the Judgment, and the Two of Wands. So immediately, Taurus, I am seeing, you know, the Judgment card is very much about forgiveness, being forgiven, giving forgiveness, and it's a rebirth. It is a card of a rebirth, starting fresh, trying something in a new and better way. And with the Chariot energy, this is movement forward. You know, the Chariot brings confidence and movement forward. And what's so beautiful about the movement forward here with the chariot card is it's in a balanced energy in the direction of your highest and best path. So as you forgive, as you um, heal and kind of deal with whatever these different aspects are here that, that need some of your time and awareness, you are lightening your load and you're helping yourself to move forward in a stronger direction and a more confident direction. And again, because you've learned from the past, you are moving forward stronger, uh, a stronger you, a more clear you, and a more aligned you. And it leads you right to the place where you are the one that gets to make the decisions and have the say, Taurus. I mean, the Two of Wands energy is a choice. What are you choosing, this way or that way? Uh, to be in this type of relationship or that type of relationship, to treat your body this way or that way. And I'm seeing you, again, that learning from the past energy, you're choosing new choices for yourself that are more aligned, that feel better, that allow you to grow and expand and to truly thrive. And I, I love the energy of the Two of Wands because look at this, 
Look at this character. They are holding the world in their hand, overlooking the kingdom. And it's like the world is your oyster, Taurus. You get to choose whatever it is that you want and go forward in that direction. And you've done the work and you've done the healing and you've learned from the past. So now it is time for you to thrive, which is so amazing. And then next up here, we've got the world card, the six of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles. Immediately, I am seeing Taurus, a huge shift for you in your life is the dynamic of your relationships, um, specifically romantic, okay? So those of you dealing with a specific person or if you're in a, a relationship with another, the balance of the energy between the two of you is really gonna be highlighted right now. Six of Pentacles can be about somebody overgiving or overcompensating for the lack thereof on the other side. It can be a card of like being taken advantage of or um, yeah, just un uneven energy from both of you. So one is giving more than the other. And with the world card as the first card out here, I'm seeing Taurus, you, this is your opportunity to close that cycle to close that up, to bring that to wholeness and completeness. You have learned from the past that those types of relationships do not work. You want an equal partnership. You want equal energy, uh, giving and receiving. And as you own that, okay, and own that as your truth and your, your highest good and your self-worth, look at the outcome. I mean, here's the answer for you. You get 10 of pentacles which is an equal partnership. It is love, it is marriage, it is long-term financial stability. This is a card of stability and a strong foundation in all areas of your life. So as you let go of those patterns of the out of balance energy between you and a romantic partner or your specific person, you, you're actually, you're giving up your opportunity to have the 10 of pentacles and you're settling for the six of pentacles. And that is what is shifting for you, Taurus. You are not settling anymore. You are gonna have it all. And the 10 of pentacles is saying, here I am, come and get me. Uh, you are ready for this, Taurus. And it's so beautiful because had you not learned from the past and been through what you've been through, you wouldn't be able to make the decisions that you are making now. So you are in a very, very good place, Taurus. So as far as other energies, I'm seeing um, strong Aries energy. I've also got Leo and Sagittarius coming through for you and other Earth energy. So you could be, be dealing with another Taurus um, or a Virgo or a Capricorn. Okay, those are the main ones that I'm seeing for you. Oops. Let's get you another message here. Yes, you've got signs. Look for the signs, Taurus. The signs will show up as you feeling tired, you feeling off balance, you just not feeling your best. That means something is out of alignment in your life. Something is out of integrity, either within yourself or within a, a dynamic. So have a look because the signs will be there. I'm hearing that a lot of your signs in this particular time are going to be physical. So you're going to feel it in your physical body. Your physical body is going to be speaking to you more um, than usual. So do your best to be aware of the body, to listen to the body. Um, it will have signs and messages for you. Okay, let's get you a spirit animal and then we will wrap up the reading. I love it. This one came out in another reading. I don't remember which one. You've got the B community. You are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. You are the queen of abundance, Taurus. You can truly have whatever it is that you want. Think about a queen bee. The queen bee does not waste time on other bees that are not, you know, matching her energy. It's like the queen bee is the queen bee for a reason. Um, this is the energy of rising up for others to meet you where you're at, Taurus, instead of you 
lowering yourself to meet them where they are at, okay? I don't know how or where that analogy came from, but that's what's coming through for you with this B energy. And um, you have this energy supporting you through the end of March. So run with it, Taurus. You have all good things lining up and coming through for you. So I'm going to end on that message. I hope this resonates. Uh, you can always watch your moon sign, your rising, any other strong placement of Taurus. Uh, thank you for your comments below. I love responding to those. And then also be sure to like the video if a message spoke to you at all. Um, also, I am a master energy therapist and I do specialize in distance energy healing and therapy, also known as Reiki. So it does not matter where you live or how far apart we are. There is a 15% discount linked below for you. Okay. Um, that's it for now, Taurus. I'm wishing you a beautiful finish to March. Enjoy that full moon and eclipse in Libra on the 25th. And I will see you back here for the first half of April readings. Take care.